Hey, what's up guys? This is Charm for Peace, and today I'm in my restaurant world. The reason for that is because I'm going to be doing a video on airships. Yay! Uh, pretty much, I have two designs here. One is the Caterpillar engine. The other is my my concept of FitMZ's, FitMC's airship design from 2B2T. And f pretty much for each, th th they're both good designs, both simple enough to make. Uh, they they have their pros and cons. Uh, but anyway, before before anything else, I'm going to show you guys what they each require. They they each require pretty much the similar things. The caterpillar engine requires two slime blocks, two sticky pistons, two regular pistons, one rail, one minecart, and three redstone blocks. The third redstone block comes in later. And my take on fit MCs requires about four to six sawn blocks, a uh, sticky piston, three sticky pistons, one rail, one minecart, and three redstone blocks. And they they are, as I said, they're pretty much both similar but different. Um, I haven't done much looking into this one yet. It, but the caterpillar engine, pretty much how it works is you have the regular piston, sticky piston, regular piston, sticky piston. And there is a reason for the sticky pistons facing this way. Now, the way that I have it set up, up it will be going this way. Not this way, this way. I have one section of the caterpillar engine here. And as you can see, I got the regular piston. Sticky piston here, slime block, and the redstone block there. And now the way the way the caterpillar engine works, the sticky piston then pushes out the slime block, and the slime block grabs onto the regular piston. And then once the sticky piston loses its activation because of the redstone block being pushed away from it, the regular piston pushes as the sticky piston and and, and uh, the the regular piston actually moves a block ahead as you will see here. And it pretty much just goes on like that to create its movement. So now pretty much we do the sticky piston, sticky piston, regular and regular, slime block and slime block, and there is a reason why I'm doing another one here, uh, but just give me one second here, and boom, boom. Okay, that's all looking good, okay. And then we go to place our rail down. Oh, something went kafooey. That is because with you putting the rail down after the rig, after you put the rest of the blocks down, it causes a block update for the stick for this piston, and it ends up messing everything up. But pretty much here, do that and that and that and that and then there, and then we break the base, and then the, and then the rider seat. Than these, and then there we go. That is it. And then to power it, pretty much all you do, place a block down here. See the extend like that. That's perfect. That is what you want to happen. And then after you place that block down there, hop in the cockpit. Actually, before anything, let me make a stopper right about there. Boom boom. Boom 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 boom. And then yeah. You hop in the cockpit. Okay, we'll be going this way because the sticky pistons are facing that way. The sticky pistons face the opposite of the way you want to go, the way you don't want to go. You 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 face the sticky piston source. But once you're in this cockpit, aim for the middle block you placed and break it. And there we go. 
and that. Huh? Okay, honestly, that one, I have no clue about what happened there. But, generally, the, 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 that is how you do it. Because if we come up to this one here, that I've already made before this. Let me hop down in the cockpit. Place that. Break that. See, it does go properly, as it should. As you can see there, it is going properly as it should, and and for the stopper, it does take quite a bit, but once it's stopped, it is easy enough. It is pure stopped. And then, okay, so now, we move on to Fit MC's design, which that you know, no thank you. Place the sticky pistons right like that, facing into each other. Place the slam blocks, and actually right here would be a, pretty much a block of your choice. And then break the base. You don't want any block updates happening with these pistons before you're ready. Redstone blocks like that. And then we'll place that there. Boom. Now the thing, the one thing I like about fist, fist design is that you don't necessar necessarily need to have a minecart. Because if you do it like this, it'll, it'll just keep pushing you towards over here. And you'll keep in place while it goes, while it goes, and you won't get, you shouldn't get knocked off. If you're worried about getting knocked off, then, oh well. And then, there. this one right here is easier to stop, because all you need to do is just rush off. Place a block at the front, and it's stopped. But the engine itself isn't stopped. The engine will just keep going until you place enough blocks behind here to stop the rear pistons. Or you could also do this: place enough slam blocks along the side so that it grabs onto that and it doesn't go anymore. But then once you remove that, it's done. And that is pretty much the different pistons, different airship designs. And they do each other perks, they do each other flaws. Like this one, you can stop on you can stop by just adding one block on it. You don't need a cockpit. But you don't need a minecart necessarily. If you did have a, if you do want to put a minecart in there, you do it right here, just like that, and then it'll be good. So we go right here, and then just like that, and it'll go a bit smoother. But personally, I prefer to go like this. And, and the cat and, and this design, if you do end up stopping it completely, and you break the the front couple of blocks that uh, and, and the engine is still stopped, it is easy enough to restart. You just it's just a matter of grabbing a flint and steel or whatever and lighting that block if you can, or taking off that redstone block and whatever. This one, the flaw with this one is that you do need to have an extra redstone block for whenever you start it up again. And pretty much that's it.
But this one here, I, d I have had them side by side going on at the same time in this in this world, which is why they're, the two were there. And they and the Caterpillar engine is actually faster than my concept, my, my take on Fitz design. So yeah, that is that is pretty much it. Redstone engines slash airships are actually very simple. It's just a matter of wrapping your head around them. And these these aren't the only two designs out there. I know that for a fact. There are many, many, many designs. All you have to do is just let your head wander. But anyway, with that being said, I will catch you guys later. Uh, the next video I will upload will probably be one of the first videos who's on 1b1t.org because for those of you that don't know right now 1b1t.xyz is down and so I actually started playing on 1b1t.org and I'm liking it better than 1b1t.xyz once 1b1t.xyz comes back up I probably will log on it a couple times to check how things are and do inventory dumps or whatnot. But I'm gonna be sticking with 1b1t.org because I'm liking it a lot better. But anyway, with that being said, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!